welcome to the penultimate session of today. Um, there's been enough information shared all day today in terms of uh, uh, nuances of open source, good and bad, pros and cons, so I probably won't be dwelling too much into that. Uh, instead, I would probably want to give you all a summary of in, uh, how we are leveraging open source and uh, bringing the products in Sangle uh, in the firm that I'm working at. Uh, so I'm working as a senior director at YML, uh, and uh, I'll be going through the uh, aspects of what YML is, what we do, and uh, further continue into our contributions to the open source world. There's been an identity crisis for us uh, in our stall since this morning. Uh, people calling we are not YAML, we are YML. Uh, neither are we UML, we are YML. Uh, so I'll be walking you through what we are. Uh, we were founded in uh, 2009. Uh, we built the app number 54 for App Store. And today we are working with uh, some of the Fortune 500 uh, companies uh, and more to come. We are essentially a design and uh, technology firm. Uh, we keep uh, design in the heart of things that we do um, and uh, back it up with uh, engineering in terms of uh, what we build to our clients. Um, for us, uh, velocity innovation and experimentation is rooted in uh, uh, all we do. Uh, and that's where we believe a lot of overlap in terms of how we uh, leverage on your, uh, open source uh, is in line with our thinking. We are uh, largely in terms of uh, experimentation and uh, product thinking, and that's where the data and experiments uh, come into play. Uh, we back it up with design and uh, further with uh, technology. I'll be speaking more about this in the coming slides. These are some of the clients that we have. Uh, uh, we haven't listed everyone, but some of the top lists that we have here. Just a brief on the video in terms of uh, Cool. That, that was what we were in terms of what we have built so far. Uh, I'll be talking about a concept of tripod at YML in how design engineering and uh, product come together to build uh, world-class products. Uh, we start off with what we, know, what we call as uh, great product sense. And for me, product sense, uh, picking up with one of the popular uh, newsletter, talks about having empathy in what you build to your users uh, at the same time foster your creativity. And this so much resonates in terms of what we built, uh, primarily because the desirability aspect is uh, brought by uh, product, feasibility is brought by engineering, and usability is brought by uh, design. And that's how we collaborate to sort of uh, get through all the challenges that we have in uh, building a true great product sense and uh, leverage it with the open source itself. Coming to the open source contribution, firstly, uh, you may be wondering why is YML invested in open source. Some of the stuff that we think is uh, good in terms of contributing to the open source is we value it was speed and uh, in terms of speed and scale. Uh, you saw in the previous slides that our uh, philosophy is also around velocity and that's where we believe that contributing to speed uh, in terms of uh, uh, open source uh, contributions from YML really matter to the outside world. And it's always easy to sort of scale, leveraging from the community of what open source brings into play. Um, at the same time, we also want to invest in YML's own IP, uh, where the marketplace is identified and really the solution is built by our team uh, and then leverage it uh, uh, for the rest of the community. YML's top culture has also been um, uh, cross-collaboration between teams across geographies and projects. 
we now want to use this expertise uh, to sort of um, give it back to the community uh, across the world, uh, largely the dev community itself. These are some of the top reasons why uh, we think uh, we should be invested in uh, open source. Some of the open source libraries uh, that we already have published um, in the GitHub uh, URL that you see here, um, it starts off with why matter type. This is largely a framework that um, um, sort of uh, gets the typography going uh, and any nuances around typography is optimized further. Uh, some of the things that uh, UI developers are uh, very close to is in terms of spacing, decorations, labels, buttons. Uh, so this library aims to bring the experience uh, uh, that is not provided by the native uh, uh, typography frameworks that come with the open source uh, stuff. Uh, we also aim to uh, improve the dynamic type scaling and accessibility uh, through this library. And eventual goal is to sort of uh, accelerate the development process uh, in terms of how we can accurately translate some of the stuff that comes from Figma, uh, which is a design tool, uh, which we all largely uh, heavily depend on. So that's why matter type for you. Similarly, we have a Y, y tooltip, tool uh, which is sort of a tooltip library that uh, is uh, based on Jetpack Compose system. And this is something that uh, is regularly used across the apps that we develop. Um, so whatever learnings we had from this and the improvements that we think we can contribute back to the uh, community is also uh, outlined in this. Uh, I won't go too deep into core UI and networking. Um, just an update in terms of what is coming up. Uh, that we will be publishing on the GitHub uh, is Y charts. Uh, this is a library that will help you uh, sort of read the data and come up with meaningful uh, charts uh, that you can generate insights about. Uh, at the bottom, I have sort of listed uh, how you can um, get to our uh, repositories, uh, both uh, uh, YML org repository where we have all of these libraries published uh, and as well uh, I'll be talking about a TensorFlow that uh, we work on. So in terms of our uh, expansion or stretch uh, for the uh, op contributing to the open source, uh, uh, top three uh, user groups for TensorFlow uh, was from YML. Uh, the first three, in fact, was from YML. Uh, and we developed courses for the core TensorFlow modules and it has been widely used by uh, developers across the board uh, and continue to sort of uh, leverage on what we develop and uh, put it out there um, in making their understanding easy. Um, you could follow us there as well in terms of more uh, general cases on our websites. Finally, in terms of an update on how we are giving back to the community, uh, we had a Bangalore Kotlin meetup recently, uh, and Srikant was uh, one of our Android staff engineer who spoke about screenshot testing, the uh, nuances of how uh, this will help the uh, aspect of uh, um, having less visual QA errors or uh, UI errors that will come through. Um, and uh, this is largely leveraging on these three libraries that you see, uh, Paparazzi, Short, and Showcase. Um, and one of the best part of this is this can be tested uh, in both uh, ways of having a device and not having a device or an emulator. Uh, the testing examples are posted on this uh, uh, URL in the GitHub. Uh, please feel free to go through it. And we do a lot of innovation stuff in terms of uh, uh, write up as well, uh, where the knowledge sharing happens to the rest of the community. So please uh, visit us on uh, Medium and this uh, barcode where it will take you to what we are building. I think with that, uh, and in the interest of time, um, I come to my last slide. Any questions? If you have any questions, uh, please visit us. Uh, we have a stall uh, around the corner. Um, we are in all day tomorrow. Uh, happy to answer any questions from there. Thank you. Thank you.